Hey y'all, and welcome back to Cat's Corner, the corner of the internet where I had Cat's Madness. Today, it is finally October. I finally have... Mm, why am I clapping? I finally have my computer working again, and I can finally put out some Halloween videos for you guys. I'm so excited for this. Today, I'm going to be showing you my creepy doll look. So I did this for Halloween last year. It is a broken doll or just a creepy doll, depending on how many steps you want to take. So let's get started. So I haven't really planned this yet this year, but I... So I'm kind of winging this. I have my picture of my costume from last year. I have a porcelain doll for reference. And I guess we'll see how this goes. So I'm going to start with the brows. Now, dolls have like these really thin wispy brows here. So I just need to fill in the ends of mine a little bit. And I should be good. So I'm going to be taking my pro my Profusion Brow Kit and a Luxie 221 Flat Definer Brush. I'm going to be dipping into these three shades right here. So these two brown shades and this black up here. And I'm going to just lightly fill in the tail of my brows. So I didn't fill them in very much. They are just very barely filled in. So they're just barely filled in, but they are like nice, light, wispy eyebrows. So when you're doing this, you want to have like really, really light quick slow strokes so you don't want to be just going straight down <clears throat> in one long stroke just really light quick feathery strokes next we're gonna go into the eyeshadow so for my primer, I'm going to, to prime my eyes, I'm just going to use a little bit of my e.l.f. Cosmetics Maximum Coverage Concealer. I'm just going to pat that onto my hand. And then dab that onto my eye. The eyeshadow I'm going to be using my Pure Cosmetics Soiree Diaries eyeshadow palette, but you as long as you have a palette that has like a few really light brown transition colors and some really light skin tone colors, and that's all you really need for this look. So first I'm going to be taking my big flat brush and I'm going to be going into Private Party and I'm going to be setting my concealer on my eyes with that. I'm going to take a big fluffy bl blending brush. This is the Moda Pro BMX 430 crease brush. And I'm going to go into the color Gala. And I'm going to be blending that into my crease and over my lid. So I'm pretty much just putting that everywhere. Now I'm just going to take 
this same brush and I'm going to go into the color splurge with down here, which is slightly darker, and I'm going to just put that into my crease. I'm going to take this little tapered brush and I'm going to be going into Private Party again and I'm going to be highlighting my brow bone with that. And now I'm going to go into Mogul, the even lighter shade on this side, and I'm going to highlight my inner corner with that and make my eyes look just a little bit bigger. So now I'm going to do my face real quick. So for foundation, since porcelain dolls are very pale and matte, I'm already very pale. So I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Cosmetics foundation in light ivory. So I'm just going to pat that all over my face. forgot to prime. Okay. I'm going to be taking the wrong brush. I'm going to be taking my oval brush from Urban Studios and blending that all in. Now for this it might be better to get a more full coverage foundation because the e.l.f. Cosmetics SPF foundation is kind of a medium coverage foundation, but I usually just end up fixing that with my concealer. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Maximum Coverage uh, Concealer in the color Porcelain. And I'm going to put that under my eyes. I'm going to put that between my brows. My forehead has been breaking out like crazy lately, so I'm going to put that there. I need a little bit more. So just put that all over my forehead. I'm going to put that over around my nose. Then I'm going to blend it in with my medium Urban Studios Oval Brush. And since um, porcelain dolls have really small lips, then I'm going to just put a little bit of concealer over my lips and redraw them. Now that I look dead, I'm going to be grabbing my Bare Minerals Powder Duo, and I'm going to be using the matte side, and I'm I'm going to be using the matte side, and I'm going to be setting my whole face. So 
So now I'm going to be going and I'm going to do my eyeliner. So for my top line, I'm going to be taking this Colormates liquid liner and we're going to be doing a very, very small wing. A very, very small wing liner with it. That was a little bigger than I intended, but oh well. So I'm going to be putting a little bit of white eyeliner in my waterline to make my eyes look even bigger. And instead of doing my bottom lashes, I'm going to be taking my a black eyeliner. I'm going to be drawing on very small bottom lashes because, as you can see with the porcelain dolls, they have like little glued on lashes on top, but their bottom lashes are drawn on. So I want to go for that effect a little bit. So to draw on your lashes, you're just going to take the eyeliner, get it as close to your lashes as possible, and drag down just a very little bit. Now for my top lashes, I want them to be really big and really full, but I currently do not want to struggle with false lashes, which would probably be a much better option in this case, but instead I'm going to be using my Blink Lash Primer and my Blink Amplified Mascara. So if you have a very volumizing um, prim a very volumizing mascara or a very good um, lash primer, then you could use that in place of false lashes. If you want to go use false lashes, Elf Cosmetics lashes are about two dollars and they include glue. So that would be also be a very good option. So that has lengthened my lashes quite a bit and I did not put any on my lower lashes because I just want those drawn on lashes instead. So next I'm going to move on to blush. This look will not have any contour, it will not have any highlight because we want a really matte face and since a lot of the porcelain dolls are um are more childlike you want you want your face to not be as sharp and angled as a contour would give you so i'm going to be taking my elf cosmetics blush in the color shy and i'm going to be taking my moda pro pointed blush brush and we're going to do a kind of heavy hand for the blush so, a lot of porcelain dolls have really, really overly rosy cheeks. So you want really heavy hand, especially on the apple of your cheek. So you smile really big. 
like creepily big. And then focus on the apple of your cheek and brush back. As you can see, it's really big, really heavy blush because you want those really, really bright rosy cheeks. There we go. Just need to shade my face from the sun. Next, we're going to do lips. Since I covered my lips, I'm going to reline them and I'm going to line and define new, smaller, kind of heart shaped lips with my Lord and Berry lip pencil in the color Romantic Rose. So I'm going to define my Cupid's bow a bit more than it actually is and I'm going to make much smaller lips than I already have. I'm going to go in with my City Color Color Chic Lipstick in the color JTM and I'm going to go over that lip liner a little bit. Now, you could very well stop here and just be good with your little creepy doll look and just put on a little headband, curl your hair, have a nice dress on, but then Instead, we can go a little bit creepier, and we're going to go for a broken doll look. So I'm going to take my black eyeliner, the same eyeliner that I used for my lower lashes, and I'm going to draw a little square or diamond or some rough shape up here. Another one here. I'm going to take my Blink Ultra Thin Liquid Liner because it has got the thinnest tip I have. And I'm going to draw little cracks from each of those holes we made. Just very thin ones. Just a few little squiggles. They don't need to be really dark or defined or precise because they're broke. They're cracks. The, everything is breaking. That one didn't turn out very well. Oh well. And then I'm going to add. And then with that, I'm going to add a teeny bit of my white liner, and I'm going to put that at the very corner edge of each of the cracks, or each, of each of the holes to make it a little, have a little bit more depth to it. And that's that. This is the Broken Doll Halloween look. Now this look, this is a really easy last minute look so you can, all of the makeup I have, most people already have in their collection. It's just everyday makeup you would wear. It's just foundation, eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara, and blush, and concealer. That's it. That's all you need for this very simple look. And then you can just throw on a cute little dress or whatever. And you can be a very awesome, broken, creepy doll for Halloween. Thank you all for watching. If you like what you've seen, hit the subscribe button down below and leave a comment about what other make you know, Halloween makeup tutorials you'd want me to do. I'll see you next time. Bye!